Mm-hmm. Um, shit, New Year's a um, CST is a stable coin, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, man. it's it's what it is according to according to the website. <laughs> and and shout out to Coast man, they are putting they are doing the work that mm-hmm. nobody wants to do, nobody probably can do. They got the they are. I hope they get super rewarded for what they're trying to do for Pulse Chain, but it has no, been too. rough rough past few days right like can you take take people through what what happened and why we're not at a dollar right now oh yeah so uh when their banking partner gave up on them or whatever for whatever reason i don't know why but their banking partner stopped working with them well now you don't have a way to on or off ramp you know fiat into into coast so everybody's now everybody who owns coast tokens are locked in the chain because they can't they can't redeem them what are you going to do so it makes this new user sentiment and, and the, the, the confidence go down so therefore the price goes down even though they are working to get new partners and get it back up and have some redundancy in that area. So in case one partner fails, another one can pick up. Um, that's where we're at. And but that, that's the, the fickle nature of fiat and, and the, 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 the TradFi system. It's like, this is, this is a mess. These people, you know, every day the winds change and they can turn on things on and off and you have no control. So you literally have, have counterparty risk dealing with these, these people because you're they're traditional finance, you know, uh, entities and you, there's nothing you can do about it. But I'll give I'll give the I'll give props where, where they do. You're exactly right. They're doing the hard work. And for them to go a literally around the world to find partners to do this with and go through all the legal hurdles and licensing fees and just everything involved. I mean, it's it's gotta be a paperwork and logistical nightmare. The team of lawyers and accounts they have to have on standby to work through all this mess. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it. It did give me a headache. But, uh, you know, yeah. once they get back on, we're, all, we're golden. But and hopefully they, this will never happen again if they got enough redundancy in place to keep it. But then at the end of the day, though, all the feds have to do is to shut them all down. That's, that's it. It's that simple. I mean, so we're there's still always going to be a risk dealing with this type of thing, whether we want, want, want to say it or not, at least for you know, U.S. citizens. Uh, other countries, maybe not. But U.S. citizens always you know, put at risk because of what the government can do if they ever decide to. And just to be clear for you know people using CST, it's not like this is not like a a uh, smart contract bug or a failure. It is just mm-hmm. a, a relationship that the platform has been put on pause for now because the banking relationship uh, they're they're trying to redo it to get you know, better partners or better ways to, to to do the fiat you know on and off ramp. And it, and this is this chart is just chart of human emotion, right? This is not mm-hmm. some failure of thing. It is a failure of the peg. You know, uh, just the chart of people saying, oh, I don't know, like, is this a good idea or not? But the software itself, nothing is nothing has failed other than people, you know, just just trading their their uh, ability to have confidence in a system that's on pause right now. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, um, and, and I know they want it when they turn it on, they want to be on and never turn off again. I understand who who would want this. Nobody wants this. Right. And so that's the thing. It's just that with, just with the amount of liquidity that's on chain right now, which is not very much, you know, so therefore they're trading below a peg until new fresh capital comes in. So I, when they do turn on, I'm curious how many people who picked it up at 80 cents are going to go out and leave for a dollar. That's yeah, my, that's, that's my that's my wonder. That ARB opportunity, right? So we had USDC uh, lose peg, went down to around you know, high 80s, 90 cents or so a year, year and a half ago or so. Mm-hmm. That was a big event. A lot of people panicked. USDC, the biggest, most trusted stable coin, all that stuff. And people made money. I didn't. I think even the, the OA, uh, they, I think they even made money off uh, trading trading some of that too and uh, all that stuff. So there, if, if things do recover and they do go well, then uh, people, these are, some people are looking at this as ARB opportunity. Um, mm-hmm. but, the, but, you know, they're wild. Wilder things have happened too. Like again, we we appreciate Coast and all that. We hope like it. We hope uh, that everyone who bought the you know we hope there is an ARB. This is an ARB. Everyone buys it. They make money on the stablecoin type of thing. They get back to business as normal. Everything goes well. Uh, there's always the risk of the other side of that too. But boy, like do you? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if if it were just some random team out there not having seen them put into work for like a couple years now, I would uh, maybe think a little bit differently. But these guys. I, I hope they can get it because it's such a valuable. Maybe talk about that too. Why is it so valuable to have this native stablecoin on Pulse Chain? Like, what? How does that help us? Well, I mean, it helps us get on and off without having to go through a centralized exchange. You know, so you, they, they'll as Coinbase or you know, Crypto.com, whoever people use, basically just just milks you with fees. Then you get the fee, Ethereum fees once you bridge out, right? 
if you take your your die, you swap for some die, you bridge out. All right, okay, now I'm over here or USDC, even whatever. You're gonna pay fees to move that around to get to Coinbase, and so that's you know um, that that's money. You're losing money now. Whereas with Coast is you bridge out because you, you pay whatever the little fee is. It's like it's very small compared to these others, and then you're in your bank account. And you don't you don't you bypass a lot more middlemen, and that's really important. And on the way in too, so do your bank account. Come in, get a deposit, have some pulse, and boom. You know, you have to coast, get some pulse, and that, that you, now you're off to the races. Um, but they're going to have to overcome those to take a little time because just because of what's happened is the liquidity issue uh, with between on the chain. Because right now, this is disparity. So it's a lot of slippage people eat when they come in with the coast because the biggest pair, I think, is on, on, uh, on Fox right now. And it's uh, even still, though, it's like a three or four to one ratio of USDC to CST. So it's there's still some slippage issues, but that'll, that'll correct itself, though, as more money comes in. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's just going to take time. And then but I'd say give them some grace, give them some time and let them, let them fix it. And we'll go from there.